In this video we will see how to establish the communication between two Bluetooth modules, particularly the HC05. One will work as master and one as a slave. If they are properly paired, both of them should blink their LEDs in this way. Blink twice and then stop, blink twice and then stop. And if I, for example, you still attempt to provide the master with some data, I will see that it is properly transmitted and received. Instead of using an Arduino, we are going to use this module to communicate with a Bluetooth module. It is the CP2102 and it's an adapter from USB to the WART protocol. These are the connections that we have to do in order to send contact from our laptop to the Bluetooth module and also to receive data from the Bluetooth module to our PC or laptop. Data connections are from RXT to TXT and vice versa. The power supply is given by the laptop or PC and are available through these pins. So we have to connect also the ground and the 5 volts pin. First, we have to configure the slave and master before testing the communication between them. We must take into account that the Bluetooth module has two operating modes, AT command mode and standard communication mode. The former is the one used to configure the module. Once configured, we probably should not need it anymore. The second is the standard communication, which allows the user to use it as an adapter from Bluetooth to WART. The AT command works at a speed of 38400 volt and the standard communication by default works at a 9600 volt, although we can change it. First, we are going to use AT command to configure a slave and master. So once made the connections, we should open any terminal to access the USB port. I use Teraterm and I must do some settings. First, we choose serial and this is my port. OK, I must establish some settings. First, the most important one is the speed that should be this one and the remaining data are OK. This is the speed at which I should communicate with the CP2102 in AT command mode, not in a standard communication mode. Also, uh, it's better if I include local echo and if I include carry return and line find. The font, I will also increase the font, this one. First, I'm going to configure the slave. Mm -hmm. Only this will be communicated, this one is not supplied. And if I switch on, it begins to blink fast. This is because it's prepared to communicate in a standard communication mode, which is not the one that we need. I should press this button. Stop. Press. Start. And release. Now it's blinking slow, which means that it's prepared to communicate in AT command mode. Not low cases, but upper cases and um, if I see OK it means that the communication is made between the TerraTerm and the Bluetooth module. I must do some steps for example this is not strictly necessary but if I copy and I pressed the right button of my mouse OK I can change the name. OK Now, I use this to define the slave role for this Bluetooth module. This is to make sure that uh, any other connection with any other device by Bluetooth is cleared. So now it's not paired with any other device. This is necessary. I define the communication mode in a standard communication mode not this communication with the AT command, but the later communication in mode standard. I must write down which is this address. This is the address of this device. In fact, this address is not a valid one. The first field must have four characters. This must have two characters and this must have six characters. So. I must add zeros to complete 4, 2, 
and 6 and also replace with commas. This is a valid address that I will need later. And finally, I can escape from the AT command and I will see that now it's blinking slow, but if I press OK, begin to blink faster, which means that it's prepared to enter in a standard communication mode. OK with the slave, now let's proceed with the master. Again, press, supply, release, 80, OK, and now the commands are this, make sure that in a standard communication mode we'll be working at 9600, define the master role And now, this means that it is open to any communication with any device in which I can bind to my particular Bluetooth module, my particular slave. Please take into account, this is the address that I copied in the previous step. Of course, you should type here the address of your slave. Now I can get into a restricted communication only with this device and pair with it. Okay, everything's okay. And now things are prepared to make a connection between master and slave. I will connect both of them and I will put a connection here between transmitter and receiver of my slave, which I will explain. I connect and I can see that they are blinking twice and then stop, blink twice and then stop. It means that there is a connection between these modules, the master and the slave, and they are ready to uh, communicate. If I've sent any character or any string from my laptop, it comes from TXD, the signal goes to the RXD, it is transmitted by Bluetooth to the slave, the slave receive it and put this signal, this string in the TXD. Through this cable, copy the same characters to RXD that are again sent by Bluetooth, it is received by the master, which will copy in the txt this yellow cable and we will receive it in the rxt and it's transmitted to my laptop and we will see these characters again in my teratem terminal for this i must modify the speed okay if i press here any character for example any string Every letter is copied twice, once for the local echo and once because of the rebounded character that is ended and uh, received again. For example, if I copy this, it will be transmitted as a string and receive it again. And that's all. Thank you for watching.